important so today we continue our live sessions and as you can see this time we are going to check another plastic kit but before it does was several aircraft kits now we are going to check the small tank kit which comes from IBG models and why it is small because it is molded in 170 second scale it copies famous crusader in its third version and as you can see that's a quite special type because it's anti-aircraft tank with 20 millimeters silicon guns you can see it on the box art and this is a commercial sample so it means you'll be able to get it immediately if you go to the IBG models website so if you would like to get it uh, without let's say expecting or watching the review just go to their website order it and you will have the same stuff as what you will see in this video review so first of all box art is a quite nice picture here and here you can see comparison with my hand it's a typical box for this manufacturer on this side we have one of the marking options uh, displayed in form of this uh, color printed profiles and then on the other side we can see some other kits available from the same brand so if you would like to assemble something small um, as the next build you can choose something out of these three and some of them were reviewed in our youtube channel so i would recommend to check them as well because usually ibg models makes quite an interest in small scale releases this is a top opening box so just give me a second to open it and here is what we have inside so as you can see there is plenty of space inside and we have uh, several plastic bags as far as you can see one two three with various plastic sprues and as far as I can see all those uh, plastic bags are ziplock bags which is really cool because such bags are useful in our hobby so we are going to start with the first one here it is and actually it packs the uh, biggest amount of the plastic sprues inside out of those three so that's why we are going to start with this one and continue with other two a bit later so first of all here we have this tiny uh, plastic sprue with hull ports. I'm going to zoom in so that you can see it in detail so that there is no need to bring it closer to the camera. Here we have the top section of the main hull and also we have the, I think that's the rear section, but we will have to check the assembly manual. As you can see external detailing looks really good and I don't think uh, that you have any issues here, but if we flip it over here we can see two huge uh, positioning rods so let's say they should help you to join the top half and bottom half together and maybe this will be helpful for some models but obviously there is no interior in this kit due to the model size so don't expect some um, internal features in this kit next we have this tiny plastic sprue again it's not that big but it's not surprising here we have small towing hooks also we have various um, storage bins which will be placed on the tank and again molding quality seems to be fine just to remind you about the size of this part here you can see comparison with my fingertip they are tiny so be ready to work with tweezers as well because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to place them into the right spot next we have two sprues of um, of the same type I would say they carry the same set of parts obviously so that's why we are going to check only one here we have various suspension ports or drivetrain ports as you can see those are road wheels and drive sprockets which should be glued out of two hulls also we have here the towing uh, ports and also another storage box which will be placed on the hull and if we flip it over as you can see here inside we don't have any guiding elements even for the drive sprocket so be careful while joining all those two parts together it might be a bit tricky so pay attention and you will be fine next we have another plastic sprue obviously that's not all let's zoom out a bit so that we get a bit more air in the frame so here you can see the lower hull part which is molded as one piece element as you can see here and also we have some external elements about this thing i can say that's really cool that we get it as a one piece it should help you get the proper alignment of the parts out of the box and here we have these two rods which will have to be connected with the top half as you remember but otherwise again we have nice molding quality no issues at all at least no visible issues let's say next we have parts which are specific for this version as you can see they come in the separate plastic bag so just give me a second to open it so what do we have here 
uh, there are two plastic sprues actually they're not specific for this version why because here for example we get the side skirts as you can see they're molded as one piece parts here you can see them from the side and from another side as well and let's flip them over here you can see them from the inside Again, it's really cool that we get them as a one piece, as a single piece parts. Um, in such style, it will be easier to install those parts on the tank and get the right alignment on the model without any extra issues, let's say, or problems. Next here, we have the parts for the turret. As you can see, the top section is molded as a one piece part. We also have the separate gun barrels. They're molded as a one piece part, but you have to be careful while separating those thin barrels. It might be a bit tricky in my opinion. And also here we have the separate front glazes plate, which is molded as one piece part as well. And note that all hatches are molded shut, so you won't be able to open them here. But in 170 second scale, I wouldn't say that this is a, such a crucial feature to have out of the box. Next, we have one more plastic bag. Here it is. I'm going to open it now. And here we have two track parts with road wheels so i'm going to place them like this let's say now you should be able to see them so road wheels are molded with tracks but that's not all because you have to add more road wheels here some models will be angry to see such parts division because obviously it will be a bit tricky to paint those parts but it should also simplify and speed up the assembly process and I think it's better than having the vinyl tracks in such small scale. So, uh, I mean, if you have something, some opposite opinion, just write it in the comment section below. I will be happy to discuss it. And next we have plastic bag with decal sheet. Here I would need the um, knife because otherwise it will be a bit tricky to open it. Just give me a second. Overall, all those um, kits from IBG models, they look really good out of the box. I mean, you don't have to add anything. You get really nice detailing out of the box. And it's really cool that they decided to dedicate their attention to the small scale. Thank you for the first like, by the way. So here we have another plastic bag. We have the small decal sheet from TechMod. As you can see here, manufacturer placed all necessary symbols, I guess for several marking options. We will see it in assembly manual. And one more bonus is this P fret. As far as I remember from the previous review, these parts were optional. So if you would like to use them, you can, but it's not obligatory and you can build a nice model even without them. So let's consider this as a small gift from IBG models. And next we have assembly manual. So here it is, quite big brochure, which is printed in color. I'm going to zoom out so that you can see it. Okay, so now you should be able to see it. Um, on the first page, we don't have any history note. We have the, let's say, parts map for the decals and P thread. We also have the paints chart and the address of the manufacturer. Next, on the next page, we have the parts map here. And assembly process starts with tracks, as you can see here. So as I said, you have to add the uh, other side of the road wheels. And here you place all this stuff on the lower hull half. Then you continue with side shelves or side skirts and also the top hull part. And then on the next page, we can see that here we install various storage boxes, the headlamps protection, again, more of the boxes here. Then here we install the exhaust system and on the step 8 you actually work on the turret so there will be two barrels system as you remember anti-aircraft gun had two barrels and then you install the turret on the tank. Next we have also this optional part so as you can see um, these parts will have to be bent and they will have to be installed on the tank but it is already uh, dependent on you if you would like to see this feature added to your tank or you would like to have it without the side skirts closing the road wheels. Next here we have first marking option. This one comes from 1944. And then on the next page we have another marking option. This one comes from 1944 as well. So two marking options in total, but I think nobody stops you from searching some reference books or photos 
and copying it in a small scale with your own tools. Especially if you consider that all those symbols can be replicated with thin brush and white paint. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. Of course, I will be happy to hear your opinion about this kit here in the comment section below. If you like this video, don't forget to press the like button because it will help us greatly. And I will see you in the next video review as usual. Bye.